Hello, everybody. It's 7 p.m. Where? Well, here in Los Angeles, in Washington, in Oregon, in Nevada, and it's 9 a.m. in Vietnam. Everybody say it now. Good morning, Vietnam. My favorite part of the music right there. I see a lot of familiar names. Oh, look at this. We have Ty Robert. Ty Robert. Robert Wynn. I was just thinking about you today. I was thinking, I need to get him back on. So let's do that. Robert, we're going to have to get you back on the show. Hello, everyone. You know what to do, right? Give me a one if you're watching from the United States. A two from Vietnam. Because we love to do that in all of our pictures. Like, I do that when I go to Vietnam. I take pictures and all of a sudden I'm doing this. Okay. Everyone else, just tell me where you're from. Where are you, where are you watching from? Uh, okay, so we have some United States and we have some watching from Vietnam. Excellent. That's excellent. Okay. Um, I do want to tell you. At the end of the lesson, I want to bring you on camera. It's fading down the music. Fade. Fade. Fading down the music. I, I want to uh, bring people on to the program. Do you guys like that? Because I really like it. I like being able to see your faces and to hear you talk. Um, I got great messages from people who like, were able to change something uh, after talking to me. So, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And I want some new people. I know that some of you may be nervous or mucko mm, or shy. Those people were too. And you know what? After they got on, they so enjoyed it. And now they feel more comfortable. So they come on every time. Okay. But I'd like to see some new people. Ok, quý vị nhớ nhé. Khi mà mình học cái, cái bài này xong rồi đó, I'm gonna give you a link. Rồi um, để coi mình mình gặp được ai mới không? I wanna I wanna talk to someone new. Ok, Johnny, don't be nervous, don't be shy. So hello everyone. I can see uh, we've got. Look at this. I get love and so does the moderator. Chào cô Lina với là hi Michael. Mm, nice. Còn Johnny thì hơi mất cỡ nhưng mà come on anh. Come on the show. Okay. Hello Denise. I'm feeling great. Oh, so good to see you. I see that uh, we've got uh, Jimmy from Jimmy nhưng mà from Canada. So, all right. Here we go. Today, we're talking about something that's very important in the English language because a lot of people get this wrong. Okay, we're talking about comparative and superlative adjectives. Whew. I wish I got paid for every letter I used. So adjectives are words you use to describe a noun. Mm? Describe a person, place, or thing. Adjectives. So comparative and superlative adjectives are you are words that you use when you compare things. This is why it's so difficult for non-native speakers, and especially for Vietnamese, to get it right. Because in Vietnamese, you don't change the word, you add words. 
Right, so nếu mà uh, nếu mà quý vị nói uh, uh, cái cái áo này đẹp nè, nhưng mà cái áo này gáo kia đẹp hơn, right? Mình cho cái chữ hơn hoặc là có chữ thua nữa, um, uh, cái cái anh đó hơi thấp, ở những cái anh kia thấp thua nữa. Okay, so we add words, but in English we normally change the word. Okay, we normally change the word. So, for instance, it's a cat. Oh, it's so cute. That cat is small, but the second one is smaller, and the third one is the smallest. Small, smaller, smallest. That's pretty easy, yeah? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Big. Bigger, that's the biggest. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rent like that biggest one there. My friends and I are going to be going to Mexico. And from the airport, I need one of those. Mm. Uh, that's right. Thầy Robert nói là đúng. The tiếng Việt mình là có nhỏ nè. Nhỏ hơn, nhỏ nhất, right? Yeah. So we add words, but in English, big, bigger, the biggest. So comparative means between two things, okay? Like the tree and the other tree is taller. So comparative is when you're comparing between two things. Superlative is more than two things, more than two. In this example, three things, three trees. Okay, there's a tall tree, a taller tree, and then that one is the tallest. Okay, the tallest. Okay, mình mình nói là cao nhất. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tall, taller, the tallest. Cold, colder, the coldest. Large, larger, the largest. So what did we do? We added ER and EST. Okay. Look at the second section. Happy, happier, the happiest. Busy, busier, the busiest. Okay. The second section there, we turned the Y into an I. And then we added ER or EST. Okay, I know it's a lot. The third section, intelligent. Comparative is more intelligent. Superlative is the most intelligent. Okay. Basic, more basic, and the most basic. And we don't say basicer or basicest, right? Don't worry, I have some rules to share with you. And then, of course, there are always exceptions. Mm, those gosh darn exceptions, they don't follow any rules. So the exceptions are words that just change. Like good doesn't become gooder, it becomes better or the best. And bad becomes worse or the worst. Now, you may hear like when little kids start learning to talk because they they learn the rule and then they apply the rules to all the words they use. So you will hear them say bad, badder, and baddest. Okay. Good, gooder. But I'm the goodest. Okay. So you'll see little kids doing that because they just apply the rule that they're learning to everything. Okay. Quý vị nhìn cái này thấy hơi hơi chóng mặt không? Ừ. 
Like, how do you know when to just add ER or when to use the word more and the most, right? How do you know? I've got some rules for you. Rule number one, if it's a one syllable word, you know, one syllable words, right? You just one syllable, then you add ER and EST. Hot, hotter, the hottest. Mean, meaner, the meanest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Warm, warmer, the warmest. Hmm. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. But this is the biggest mistake that non-native speakers make when we're talking about comparative and superlative. And Vietnamese are right in there. Tại sao? Because again, in Vietnamese, we add a word. Đẹp hơn. Hmm? Thấp hơn. Um, cao nhất. We add a word. Two syllable words that end in a Y. Then you change the Y to an I and add ER or EST. We learned that in another lesson too. So crazy becomes crazier and craziest. The craziest. That the craziest time. Lazy, lazier, the laziest. Dry, drier, the driest. Merry, merrier, the merriest. Okay. So this is a little section kind of on its own. Yeah? Two syllable words that end in Y. So more of a spelling thing. Joy. So far, so good. Is everyone still with me? You didn't all fall asleep yet? Okay, wake up. Here we go. Two or more syllables. Then you use more and most. Casual. More casual. The most casual. Difficult. Difficult. More difficult. The most difficult. Okay? So if it's two or more syllables, you use more and most. If it's one syllable, add E-R, E-S-T. And then, of course, if it ends with a Y, you just change the spelling. Hmm? Okay, so we got that? One syllable, E-R, E-S-T. Two syllable with a Y, you're still adding ER and EST, right? But, oh, I forgot the EST. It's just a spelling. Two or more syllables, you use more and the most. Okay. Now those exceptions. These are two of the most common the most common words that are exceptions. And you use them all the time. Now, bad becomes worse and the worst. Good becomes better and the best. Okay? There are other exceptions too. We'll talk about that later. Okay, are you ready? Let's test your knowledge. I want to be able to see your answers before I give the answer. So if you think you know, I want you to write it down in the comments. What does fast, what does fast become? Hmm? Fast becomes faster and the fastest. He was the fastest runner in high school. Yeah. Fast. Faster, the fastest. 
pretty. Hmm. See, I have heard Vietnamese people say it this way. Oh, she's more pretty than that one. Hmm? More pretty. But it's wrong. It's prettier and the prettiest. Why? Let's remember the rule. Why? Pretty ends with a Y. It's two syllables. So we change the Y into an I. We add ER. Prettier. And the prettiest. Okay? Ooh, handsome. Handsome. Two syllables. Handsome. What do we do with the word handsome? Thì vì có pretty, thì vì có handsome. Huh? Handsome becomes, let's see an answer. Let's see an answer. Handsome, it becomes more handsome and the most handsome. The most handsome. Okay. Why? Two syllables. Doesn't end in a Y. So two syllables or more, you say more and the most. Okay. Strong. Mm. This is easy. You guys know it now. This is easy. Strong becomes stronger and the strongest. The strongest. Okay. Oh, great. What does great become? Great. What does great become? Comparative, superlative, blah, 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 of great. Greater and the greatest. The greatest show on earth. Okay? Greater and greatest. Ooh, mad. Mad. What do we do with mad? Hmm? He was mad. What do we do with it? Mad becomes madder and the maddest. He was the maddest I've ever seen him. Good, good, huh? Oh, cute, cute, so cute. What do we do with cute? Cute becomes cuter and the cutest, the cutest. Oh, just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Hmm? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Multisyllabic, more than two syllables or more, right? More beautiful and the most beautiful. The most beautiful. Long. Oh, this is easy. One syllable, longer and the longest. Okay, you guys, this one, I have, this one still, people get this one wrong all the time. And I used to correct it all the time in my news scripts. And it's becoming one of those words where people use it wrong so often that they, it becomes accepted. It becomes accepted. It's supposed to be rarer and the rarest, but in new scripts. So we're talking about like people with degrees in journalism and English writing news stories. And it used to bug me so much. They always say more rare. Hmm. But sometimes you use it so often, but people get used to hearing it and then used to saying it and used to using it. Okay. Expensive. 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 
becomes more expensive and the most expensive. Okay. More expensive and the most expensive. That's the most expensive restaurant I've ever eaten. Okay. Old. Hey, what are you talking about? Old. Old. Older, the oldest. Older, the oldest. I'm the oldest of three. Okay. Dangerous. Dangerous. More dangerous, the most dangerous. Clean, clean. Mm, clean. Cleaner. The cleanest. That was the cleanest bedroom I've ever seen. Oh, dang, dang. Are you, you, you read my mind. Young becomes younger and the youngest. The youngest. In fact, I was the youngest person they had hired at KCAL TV back in 1997 to be on the air youngest younger youngest fun oh what does fun become hello anybody there what do you do with the word fun i'm waiting now, fun becomes more fun and the most fun. I'm just trying to trick you. This is one of those words that's an exception. Uh, the kids, you'll, you'll hear little kids say funner or funnest. That was the funnest time I had. But it's more fun and the most fun. That was the most fun I'd ever had. Okay? That was the most fun. Okay, more fun, most fun, okay? And by the way, since I'm bringing up words that are exceptions, okay, those weird words, here are some more. Real. That's one syllable. And most one-syllable words, you add E-R or E-S-T, but not for real. Okay? Realer and realist. You might hear people saying realer, I don't, you know, it's not correct. More real and most real. Okay, more real and most real. Same thing with right. Writer and rightist. More right and most right. Now, we don't use that very often, but this is the correct way to use it. And same thing with wrong. Okay, no wronger or wrongest. It's more wrong, most wrong. Again, not very commonly used. And then there are these words. Wow, look at them. These words, you can use either. So you can either add ER, okay, or you can use the word more. Both are accepted, like common, okay? Commoner and commonest are words. You can also say more common and most common. Okay, cruel, crueler, cruelest. She's the cruelest stepmother I've ever seen. We're more cruel and most cruel. People still use that, and it's okay. Gentle, okay, so gentler or more gentle. Now, handsome, you can say, people do say it, but most people say more handsome and most handsome, okay? But sometimes people use, like, the only thing I've heard is handsomest, the handsomest guy. Not that common. Okay, likely likeliest 
he is the likeliest to succeed. Or he's the most likely to succeed. Narrow, okay? narrower, narrowest, but you can also say more narrow. Pleasant, same thing. Most people would say more pleasant. Okay, polite. You, I normally hear people say, oh, he's more polite than she is. And more polite. But I also hear, that's the politest little kid I've ever met. Simple. Simpler and simplest. But people can also use more simple and the most simple thing you can do. Yeah? And stupid. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Or, that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Okay, so those are some more exceptions. Okay, did you guys learn, learn something? I mean, I know that most of you got most of them correct, right? But, um, but I hope that, that you learned something and that the rules help. Because when you see the rules, oh, that makes sense now. But sometimes when you speak, you don't realize that the rules are actually simple. One syllable, add E-R. Two syllable that ends with a Y, then you're still adding E-R. You're just changing the spelling. And then if it's two or more syllables, you use more and most, okay? I know it's difficult, especially since our own language, Vietnamese, we don't do that, right? We don't do that. Same thing with sentence structure. Chắc quý vị cũng biết rồi, người Việt Nam mình thì mình nói là xe đỏ, còn tiếng Anh là red car, so it's very backwards. Hmm? Um, that's why so many Vietnamese have problems with uh, plural. Mm -hmm. Plural. Not only because sometimes we're lazy and we forget the ending sound, but also because we do that, you throw all the plurals out the window. You know, two table. It's tables. It's còn mình là hai cái bàn, you know, we, it's, so I know it's very difficult. Bởi vậy, người Việt học được tiếng Anh, you have to be very giỏi. I tell my, I tell my, uh, my white friends all the time. Mm. I tell them that anyone who speaks English as a second language, I mean, Think about it. Think about how smart they have to be, right? I mean, that's accomplishment. So we don't have to talk about proper pronunciation. That's something that's habit. But vocabulary and remembering all the different rules and exceptions, that's hard to do. So for everyone watching right now, like you are doing so much better than a lot of people, okay? A lot of people, especially San uh, Mỹ, that's all they can do is speak English and sometimes not very well. So be proud that, that you are learning a second language. And I know for some of you, might be a third language. Um, so it's not easy to do, but you're using more of your brain than a lot of people. Okay, Joy. Bây giờ đó, I want to meet some of you, okay? And if you haven't done this before, please give it a try. Don't be shy. Don't be nervous. I am going to send you a link. Okay, in the comments, quý vị coi đi, đây là cái link 
Okay, that's how you get on the video with me. So I want you to get on the video with me. And when you get on here, uh, you need to um, remember to turn down the volume of, or just turn it off, your YouTube. Okay. So we're going to see who, who can get on here and uh, get to know them a little bit. Hey, Robert, are you a... Are you near a camera? Why don't you get on? Oh, here, here comes everybody. Wait a second. Is that the Michael that I'm thinking of? Is this? Okay, hold on. So if you've seen, uh, if you've been on my live streams, you know that there's this uh, wonderful man who's not Vietnamese uh, and he's the moderator. So that means he makes sure that one, sometimes if you have a question, he'll answer it for me when I'm busy. Or sometimes he he doesn't understand right now, but and he'll uh, he'll put them in their place. Or sometimes he kicks them up. Okay, so everyone say hi to Michael. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, uh, Michael, where uh, where are you from? Here in Southern California. Where in Southern California? specifically Alhambra. Okay, Alhambra. Yeah. Have you tried Vietnamese food out there yet? Uh, of course I have. Oh, uh, what do you like? Oh, you name it. Uh I actually tried pho for the first time about 20 years ago, and that oh. was in Dallas, Texas of all places. Mm -hmm. But uh there's a killer place out here just off the 10 freeway off of New Avenue called Saigon Flavor. Amazing. Saigon Flavor. Okay. Yeah, you want, Great. if you're out this way try it. Okay, so you've had pho, and then um, oh, yeah. what What else have you had? Do you remember more oh, noodle beef. dishes or rice dishes? Um, boon, beef stew? I've had that. Beef stew, I've had boon, I've had kom cha, I believe that's how you pronounce it. The rice dishes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, so got, got a surprise for you, Lena. Oh, what? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, for anyone who doesn't know, <clears throat> I have a podcast and uh, Michael is wearing the T-shirt of my show. It looks wonderful on you. <laughs> Thank you. But you have to be an adult for this show. Uh, yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll uh, for those who want to travel over that way, you know, right. have fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right. So he said gum cha, and he also had uh, bun, and uh, he eats uh, pho, and that's oh, really yeah. nice. Yeah. Are you married? I am not. Um, have you been married before? I have. Any children? No. Oh, so yeah. you're single now. Uh, single, no kids? Oh, no. Kind not, of. Oh. <laughs> so you, you have a girlfriend? Yes. Yes. Do you have more than one girlfriend? Potentially, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's for another show. Yes. Um, have you had uh, mocha? That's the beef stew. I think you probably have had. That. Yes, yes. And and I've also tried uh, durian shakes. Oh, fascinating! Wow. Yeah. Did you yeah. like it? It wasn't bad. Um, everyone was talking about and the smell is, is horrible. I didn't I didn't get that. In fact, I've had fresh durian as well. And, oh, you uh, have. Yeah. The, the taste is, is much different than the actual smell. Yes. Well, that's yes. true. Yes. Uh -huh. so, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Wow. Quý vị nghe không? Ông nói là ông ăn sầu riêng. Mà ông nói là not bad. Like you're better than my husband. <laughs> but my husband ate it when it was very ripe. Ooh. And we were in Vietnam outside. It was a hundred and something degrees, mm. 90 something percent humidity. And we'd been working so hard with the charity work. So he was very tired. And then he ate durian. How'd that go for him? It almost went back out. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. But uh, but he tried it. So you seem to be very adventurous with, like, food. You like trying new things? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm very but adventurous pretty much across the you know, everything <laughs> that I do. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> what, what is your favorite food? 
Oh, man. What's your background I, I, anyway? Uh, I'm Hispanic, but oh. um, I grew up in England. Oh. Yeah, my dad was military. So the first, uh, uh, you know, things I remember in life are from the UK. Mm, mm, okay. Do yeah, you like I, Mexican food? I do, but it's not my number one, to be perfectly honest with no. you. No. Okay. Yeah. When I eat Mexican food, it's like I get tired of the taste because it all starts to taste the same to me. It does. Yes. Right. So, so like when I go to Mexico, I can't, like, I might be able to have Mexican food for like maybe the first two days. And then I, I want to start having like different stuff, but I can eat Vietnamese food every day. You know, and, and you're right about that. And I will even have pho on a good hundred degree day. And it, I, I will tear that thing up. Well, we need to make you an honorary Vietnamese. Okay. I'll buy that. Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> so everyone say goodbye to Michael. Michael, thank you so much. It is so you're nice very to see your face. Uh, yeah. You can see, you'll be able to go and see some of the comments people are asking you about food and stuff that you've tried and stuff. But it's it's nice to see you. Perfect. Good to see you too. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Okay, that was Michael. Thì quý vị thấy không? À, rất là nhiều người ngoại quốc rất là thích uh, đồ ăn Việt Nam. Mm. So Michael is is, uh, is Hispanic, okay? Nhưng mà he doesn't like Mexican food probably as much as probably not as much as Vietnamese food. And who can blame him? Vietnamese food is so good. Okay. À, rồi, uh, oh. Well, hello. I can't hear you. You have to unmute, unmute your microphone. Yeah, it's muted. Let's see here. Uh, okay, Roy. Mute you again. Hello. Hello. How was the weather in Vietnam today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's sour outside. Oh. The sour and uh, the thunder. Oh, really? Yeah. In Hanoi? Yeah, in Hanoi. Yeah. Mm, I love when yeah, it rains. It is so hot now. Oh, really? Yeah. How hot is it? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I think it was nearly 100. <laughs> yeah. So it's still hot. It was a hot year. It was hot when I went home, too. Um, tell me again when you're coming back to the United States. Uh, I'm coming um, back in the United States in uh, two months. Two months? Two months, yes. Two months. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people uh, the other night were very impressed with your English. Very impressed with your English. No. Yeah. I'm, so you. I'm, I'm just uh, studying English about uh, about three years ago. Uh huh. Yeah. When Good. I uh, when I came to the United States, I uh, I uh, beginning to study English. Uh huh. Uh, how old are you? I am uh, 77. 77? Yes. Oh, wow. You look great. No. <laughs> yes, you do. You look great and you sound great. Your English is very good yeah. for being 77 and just learning it not too long ago. I mean, oh, well, no. when I study, uh, uh, beginning study, uh, beginning uh, high, uh, my teacher. Uh, Talk very fast. I I I hear nothing. Uh -huh. I feel uh, it's uh, the same uh, sewing machine uh, in action. Uh huh. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I, well, I, I I told her uh, I very old, very old to uh, study. Uh huh. Well, you're not. Yeah, you're she not. said that uh, better late than never. Yeah. Never too old. You're never too old to learn. That's for sure. Well, yeah. it was very nice to see you. Yeah. Okay. I hope I hope it cools down a little more for you over there in Hanoi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's so cute. Wow. Bảy mươi bảy tuổi. Nói nói như vậy là quá giỏi đó chứ. Okay. Uh, oh, who's this? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, who are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm. 
I, 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 I am a fool. I, uh, I, I'm a first time come uh, channel Lena. Mm, where are you? Um, I, I'm living in Vietnam, Quy Nhơn City. Oh, I love Quy Nhơn. Yeah, Quy Nhơn City. Yes. Um, and then how long have you been learning English? Um, really, really, I, I learned in it now. Uh, um, really, I uh, learned it in it uh, uh, before uh, 75. But uh, after that, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we got to uh, university and uh, I'm, I'm learning uh, Rosa. And, and after that, I, uh, I am uh, starting in lit myself. Mm, mm -hmm. um, what do you do there? Uh, now, now I'm retired. Oh, but okay. I, uh, I, I, I last started in English. Mm, okay, very nice. Uh, yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, very nice to meet you. I, I hope yeah. you keep studying. Yeah. 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 It feels good to, uh, to learn something. Next, uh, I, I, uh, uh, next year, next next year, I I have plan to uh, U.S. Oh, yeah. Do Do you have family in the United States? Um, I I have my 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 son. Uh, he 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 lived in California. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, what city in California? Oh, uh, Irvine, California, Irvine. Irvine. Yeah. Irvine. Okay. Very yeah, good. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, it, it was nice to meet you. I hope to see you again. Yeah. Not, and not to and meet I you hope too. to, when you, when you watch the videos. Yeah. Yeah. Repeat after, after me, you know, when I do the lessons. Yeah. Just Thank keep you. repeating it out loud. Not in your head. You have to say it out loud. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice to meet Bye. you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, who is this little boy? Who is this little boy? Hello. Hello, Miss Lena. Okay. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Tristan. Okay. What are you doing with your camera? Stop moving it. Okay. Now, where are you from? I'm from. Thành phố Hồ Chí Minh City. Uh, my mom is from Quảng Ngãi. Oh, oh, okay. How old are you? I ten years old. Okay, ten years, years. Yes. Years, ten years old. Ten years. Old. No years. Years. Yeah. So try to uh, practice the ending sound. Okay. How long have you been learning English? Uh, five years. Five what? I, five, five years. Five years. Years. Yes. Yeah. Always remember, yeah? Years. Put the S at the end. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. And try to talk more. Yes. Do you have any questions for me? No. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time try to try to think of a question, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. No, I'm deal. Oh, who's this? Well, hello, young man. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you? Doing good. You I'm are? Good. Okay, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Duang. I'm from Ho Chi Minh City. Oh. Uh, uh, now I'm in Taiwan for a transfer program. Oh, so what? you're you're in Taiwan? Yeah, actually, I'm doing my I'm my first step quarantine in Taiwan. Oh, so I before, see. Yeah, it has to take like three days of quarantine, and then I can go out. And where are you going after that? Yeah, you mean you're going there to vacation? No, I'm uh, actually I am on a transfer program because I'm working as a physician, so I go to Taiwan for like further study and training. 
Oh, very nice. How long have you been learning English? Uh, actually, I've been learning English like for most of my life, but I've taken English seriously like for uh, four years. For four years. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, have you been watching today's lesson? Uh, yes, but not all. Not all of it. From the middle. From the middle. Okay, I but missed the beginning part. Okay. Do you uh, do you know the three rules? No, actually, uh, can you remind okay, so me of the three rules? The first rule is, if it's a one-syllable word, then you add er or okay. est. Like tall becomes taller. Right. Or tallest. Right. Um, fat becomes fat become fatter or fattest exactly very good how about the word uh happy happy happier happiest very nice sometimes how... i say more happy is that okay well no because it's wrong oh okay mm, it's wrong yeah um people do say it but grammatically you should be saying happier and happiest okay or well, sometimes sometimes i just you know make it incorrect yeah well a lot of people do that uh how about the word modern modern mm. more modern most modern very good very nice so you understand the rules your english is quite good you have i notice you have good pronunciation uh for instance when you say when I said fat and you said fatter instead of fatter, right? So you get that D. So that's a that's that's very good pronunciation. Yeah. Um, do you know anyone who live who lives in the United States? Yes, uh, actually my my sister family resides in the US like for more than 10 years. Mm, where? Our, uh, she lives in California. Where in California? Uh, I know exactly because I've never been to the U.S. before. But, uh, you know, my new Phil, uh, every year that my sister family came back uh, for vacations, came to Ho Chi Minh City for vacation, and my new Phil, uh, he corrected my pronunciation a lot. Uh-huh, good. Yeah, your pronunciation is, is very good. Your R's are good. Yeah, you just... Uh, like many, try not to drop the last sound, um, the S, the S the sound S. at the end, right? Um, right? How old are you? How old are you? Um, can you guess? Well, you look very young. So if you're still studying, I mean, are you 20? <laughs> One? 21? <laughs> you can flush 10. Oh, really? You're 31? I was born in 1990. Wow. Wow. Trời, hàng gì thấy nói, 21, thấy cười tươi, dễ sợ luôn á. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, that's good. Trẻ thì đâu sao, đợt trẻ rồi quá. Mừng rồi, phải không? <laughs> you, you too, you look very young. Oh, wife. I like your channel a lot. Yeah, because you inspired me to speak you know, English, uh, American English more correctly. Yeah. And you do such a, you, you do a great job. One thing that you, the one word that you use a lot that a lot of Americans use that makes you sound more American is actually, uh, actually. when you, you, when you say actually, it sounds so American oh. because a lot of people say that, you know, as a filler word came up, don't conversation. Oh. Done. So it sounds, it sounds very, um, yeah. yeah, it's it sounds very American for yeah. you to use yeah. that. Word. Then you should make a video about the filler words, uh huh. American people mm -hmm. that they usually speak, or speak. yeah. So, words like, for instance, most Americans, most native speakers, especially people who speak in front of a crowd, mm -hmm. they don't want to use the filler words. Okay, because we use them so much, they want to try to take them out. Oh. But foreigners, 
actually like to use it because it makes them sound more American, mm. right? So like the word right, like that's a habit that I have. Uh, I picked it up from somewhere. Um, but that word, like I'm not asking you right, I'm not, I'm not waiting for an answer, but it's a filler word that comes out automatically. Yeah, it's just natural. Yeah, um, a lot of people say, you know, mm. they say, you know, a lot, you know, this, you know, that uh, actually is another one. But I think that's great because for foreigners to learn that, hmm. it just makes them very conversational, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Don, it was very nice to meet you. Keep up the good yeah. work. You're doing, you're doing very well. Yeah, you, you should be much. you should be very proud of yourself. And Thank good you. luck over there, okay? Okay, good luck. Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So I I see uh, Lynn Lynn uh here we go Lynn. You got to unmute your mic, Lynn. Uh you you need to unmute. I can't hear Oh. Say something. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Where are you? <sighs> My name is Lynn. I'm from Ho Chi Minh City. Wow, everyone is everyone is in Saigon today. Um, how old are you? I'm 10 years old. Hmm. And how long have you been studying English? Um, since I was six. Okay, since? Since? Yeah, since. Say, since. Nyo gi gi s, yeah, since. Um, that's a very common mistake. A very common mistake that Vietnamese make. They say sin. Sin I was, right? Since. Okay, take the time. Since. 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 Faster. No, since. Don't, don't say sins. Say since. Since. No. Since. Faster. Since. since. Since, since, mm -hmm. so just try that. You say, and in, in, instead of say sins, because when you say sins, it becomes this word. It becomes a word, a different word. Okay, came okay. a It becomes this word, sins. But bây giờ nói mà nếu mà nói dịch ra cái 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 um sin uh, like when you sin là làm gì mà nhớ như là mình có tội đó nhưng mà sins is a plural okay but what you want to say the word you want to say is since since there's an n in there since since okay so you say i've been studying since i was six since i was in whatever yeah since okay Okay. Do you have a question? Do you have anything you want to ask or tell me? No. No. <laughs> next next time you should come up with a question. How did you watch the lesson today? Yes. Yeah. But a boy. Okay. So do you understand when you compare things? How you do it? Like the word skinny. La ốm đó, skinny. Okay. Nếu mà một người mà ốm hơn người kia thì thì em nói sao? Skinnier. Right. Very good. Skinnier. Còn cái người ốm nhất thì mình nói sao? Skinniest. 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 Okay. Very good. So you know. All right, Lynn. Good to talk to you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bây giờ có thêm một người khác cũng tên Linh nữa nè. But I don't see you. Linh, Linh ơi. Hello. Hello chị. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Already I can see that you're trying and you're making that change. You're actually looking at the camera. Oh, yes. My yes. daughter just... Again, my daughter just fell asleep, so. Oh, you, oh, I see. Yeah, she just fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the lesson today? Yes, I did. Not all of it, but almost, mm. almost all of it. 
Mm -hmm. And is that something that's easy? Does that come easily to you? I would say not too bad. Are there any words that, that you mess up on or get confused about? Pretty much no. But there was one that actually I didn't really like. I would say like not really never heard of it. I think it was the like the word fun. Mm. Like the more oh, fun or the most fun. More fun and most fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Yeah. So remind everyone for people who may not have seen you last time you were on, how long have you been in the U.S. and how long have, have you been studying English? I have been in the U.S. for almost 12 years and I have learned English for, I would say, almost pretty much the time that I've been here. So a little bit longer. So I would say like about 15 years of learning English. Mm -hmm. And what kind of work do you do? Uh, right now, I'm just staying home like a housewife, taking mm -hmm. care of my daughter, who's okay. almost two years old. Oh, uh, had, did you work before? I did. What did you do? I was working like part-time as a manager, like Lamnewa, mm -hmm. and also working at a tax office doing like the reporting the income tax, helping mm -hmm. the Vietnamese community to file the income tax. So Very nice. Like, part-time of both. Mm -hmm. Thì vì có người có người nhớ and they thought they remember you being an accountant. Yeah. So we must have talked about that last time. Wow. Yeah. Our did. our viewers are paying time. attention. Oh, well, thank you. Good. Yes, very also, nice. And last time that I couldn't really I wasn't really speaking that loud, so most people wouldn't really hear me well. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't really look at the camera last time. Right. So this is a much better appearance, a much better appearance. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, it was Try nice it. to see you again. Uh, you're, nice you're doing you great. Again, yeah, doing really Thank great. You. Okay, bye. Whew. Oh, we have we have someone on here, but the no camera and no micro. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello, Lina. Hello, Lina. Remember me? I do remember you. I don't know if our viewers remember you. So introduce yourself. My name is Lu Phước. I live in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm 14 years old. And uh, how long have you been studying English? Five years. Five what? Five years, Lena. Years. Okay, remember the S at the end? Yes. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing in America? Uh, we're doing okay. Yes, I was in Vietnam and I got back, I think, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, look, people remember you. Looks like you're sitting in the same spot. Looks like you're sitting in the same place, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The same All place. Right. Um, have you been watching the videos? Yes. And and when you interesting facts. what's that? Well, the most interesting fact is that there are some words that can be used in two ways. Uh huh. Uh, oh, you mean in today's lesson? Yes. Yes. Well, there's that. That's the thing about English. There are always exceptions, right? Always right. exceptions, and um, like n no one can really learn all of them, right? Right. So it's very difficult. But all right. Well, it was it was nice to to see you again. I know, last time I think you also had your fan on last time too, right? Right. Yeah. Because because it's hot. How hot is it there where you are? Well, it's not very hot. It's not. Yes. There is some time rain. Oh. So it's raining a little, but you have your fan on. Yes. So it must be kind of hot. Well, it's sometimes hot. Okay. By the way, so when I say, when I ask you, is it hot there? And if yes. it's not, if it, no, if it's not hot, you say no. Okay. You don't say yes. 
it's not that hot. You have to say no. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, the because if it, nếu mà hỏi, you know, ở Sài Gòn nóng không? Nếu không thì em phải nói là không. Right? Because when you say yes, then you answer my question. It is hot. So you say no, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can't I say can't. yes, it's not, because that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye, Linda. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, it is eight o'clock, everybody. It's eight o'clock. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna put on that music again. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, they're going be a dude. Okay, everybody, I want to I want to see you move, move. I want to see you move. Got to dance. Yes. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Linda Roy. You like the music, you guys? Nice. Wow. Yes. I do. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Thank you, everyone, for joining tonight. Thank you for um. For the yeah. for coming on and talking to us, all right, paying attention. I love it. Wishing you all a great day, and if you're here, wishing you all a great night. Enjoy the music, and we'll see you again next time on another lesson, learning English with Lena. Okay, bye everybody. Wave. Goodbye. Goodbye, Vietnam. Bye, everybody. <laughs>